Hello, good afternoon everybody, hope you are having a great time. Um, well, I wanted to provide a short introduction about um, PSCAT today to just start with the application. So you're gonna see that how it works, it's pretty easy. Well, this is a software, one of the most useful software for power system simulation. Why we need to simulate? Well, we simulate the network to um, have an understanding that the system that we have, how is it going to behave when it is fully implemented? So it's part of the process of planning and designing the network. Well, this is the first video. Later on, I am going to talk about more advanced features of the network and, well, um, go further with the installation and the software with, with the software that we have. So now we wanted to start with this software. So you, I just started the software. Well, the student version of that is available. I suggest you just go and get the student version of the software, pscad.com. It is free. So you can try that and you can learn how it works and use it for your engineering projects. Now, what we wanted to do here, we wanted to start a project. And to start a project like all other applications, that's um, a lot of other applications, something like that sign, it gives us the idea that uh, it is a new project. So we're gonna start a new project here. Okay, the project, then the project is going to need a name, definitely, like any other project. So we, let's call the test, okay? And okay, then it say that well, the test is already exists. So well, sorry. Um, well, anyway, it's just it was just a test, so I can I can afford to replace it. So that's fine. And then I am going to have the place for my project. For the purpose of the project, I went to sort of uh, a kind of focus on the screen so that you see that what is going to happen. Uh, well, as a result of that, we end off with a small area. So how that works? Well, basically we have different places for this application. Uh, well, here is the main part of the work. You do your simulation here. It's gonna be here. You're gonna see that I'm going to expand it. And then we're gonna have the library right here. Well, the library, let me, yeah, let me just make this big, yeah. So the library is library of different things, like a lot of other, like all other application, well, we have loads, we have power supplies, we have also time, numbers, sliders, and things like that. If you work with any other software, for example, Sim Power System or SPSS or any other simulation software, even even the software like, for example, Multiseam or LabVIEW, in many ways, they're very similar to each other, okay? So you're gonna see all of these features, okay? And we can use them all here, okay? So this region is our library and obviously all our components come from the library. What else we have? Well, if I make this a smaller, okay, again, and push this slightly, yeah, if I just, Make this, yeah. Let me see, yeah. If I look at this region, you can see that, well, I can actually click on some parts and move on and look at some library features. Also, here I have a section that gives me information about number of errors and warnings and messages that I may have here in my application. Well, I can have multiple files, but in this case, 
for the simple application I just go for one file so let me put that down further so we're gonna see the whole project yeah that's not bad now um, this is the main that I see it and here is the master and the master is basically the library okay so what we wanted to do we wanted to start with a very simple project let's have a power supply and let's have a simple load and well an emitter or an oscilloscope to tell us that how it works okay and give us information of the signal okay so we need a source so we can use any of these sources you can see there are different type of sources okay well they're pretty much using a standard a standard symbols so like for example for this one i just straight away go and select that how to select that i can simply copy that or instead of copy which is gonna be quicker i can just go and control c okay and then i take that to the main and paste that there okay so i paste that well it is already there so what is this well this is a power supply but we still need to do some settings for the power supply when you double click on that this settings pops up so i have to a screen so i just go between these screens and move okay so you can see that automatically name source one is given to that then well the impedance is resistive if you want you can actually make it inductive or make it capacitive or many why series rlc this is up to you so say for example you wanted to model a generator later on i will show you how you wanted to model for example a generator a wind turbine or transformer you wanted to connect it to the network what are the requirements you wanted to do but uh, well for now we just wanted to learn the software how it works so well we just let's just say that we want rlc okay and then we said RLC is this source grounded you can choose to ground it okay well you can choose not to again we can talk about that and then here after the configuration we have other stuff to take care one of them is signal parameters okay well signal parameters is where you can decide the parameters that you have so say so if you look at this you can see that the magnitude ac l g r m s d c p k there's still some information for the signal that you have how much is it just look at this the voltage is in kilovolt so say for example i just wanted to have 230 volts okay so if i wanted to go for 230 volt well it is a small voltage well i know you need to write 230 like that okay and then ramp up time okay 0 0.5 let's leave it there initial phase zero well frequency well this software is an american made software so by default the frequency is 60 hertz so we can change it to 50 hertz or any other frequency you want okay well there are other parameters if you like to fix them okay like the resistance the impedance and all of other stuff we could have changed them but well i don't make a change and you can see that those things that i made a change well they turn bold okay and we have that bold okay so it comes here oh I thought that I selected grounded. Is the source is grounded? I forgot that, so I can easily go back and well say yes. So I ground that. Well, again, we can discuss that later. Uh, that's something in New Zealand. In New Zealand, usually in distribution side, and also our generators they're grounded. But why? 
well, we can talk about that later if I ask a question for you. Well, now we have this and there is RLC here, but that RLC is very limited. Basically just one resistance um, as we selected, whatever we selected. We can go to master and now we wanted to have a load in front of that. Well, you know that loads that we have, they usually consider passive elements unless you go for like a motor or something like that. Okay, so you can see that we have R, we have L, we have C. Well, if you wanted any combination of them, you can choose that and you can connect them together. So in this case, I go for an inductance, but you're going to see that it is going to be better than what we expected because the software is really flexible and useful. If you double click on that, well, you're gonna see that it's an inductance, 0 0.1 Henry, okay? Well, whatever you want, it can be on it, okay? So 0 0.1, for example, we just go and say 0 0.5, okay? Well, that's a configuration that we have and only configuration gonna be given to us, okay? Now, what else you want to do? For example, the resistance, okay? A resistive load, you wanted to have a resistive load and see how that works, okay? Let's again copy that here and let's add the resistive load here too, okay? So one, um, let's just leave it, okay? And after that, you want it to, for example, ground this. So what to do with grounding it? Well, ground is right here again. It's one of the passive elements that we have. So we click here again and we have that. By the way, any element that you want, you can just play with them in any way you like, like copy and paste and copy and paste as many as you want, or if you want, you can just flip them by Control R, okay? And again, Control R, Control R is just all go to one line. So now, okay, I need to get them connected together, okay? Because if I don't connect them together, obviously, they're just um, something like broken far away from each other and they don't do any work for me. So what I do, I just lift it up a little bit, slightly, and you can see that here we have a wire mode. You could also go for Control W in a set, so wire mode. When I click on wire mode, I am getting this pin here, okay? So it's important, you can click, okay? and then you leave your click and then click again. Okay, if you continue, it continues. What you need to do to stop, you should press the right click. Okay, done. Then click and then look at that. I continue until I get this information like that. So I know that I reached the resistance. Click and then right click, okay? And again, click at the end of the resistor and click and right click. Okay, so it's done. Yeah. Okay, so I wanted to go back and be able to click on different things. Okay, it's actually important to do that. When you do that, click on this mouse. Okay, that means that you're no longer in the wiring mode. Okay, well, I finished my simulation. Now, what I can do. I can run the simulation, okay, and I am getting this message. This project is not requesting any output channels. You will not be able to plot any result process with the simulation. That's right, okay. We're just doing something, but we're not getting any information from the system. So, well... The system is sort of blind, but it is good to tell us if we have any error or not. Okay, so say yes. Well, it is compiled and finished and I got some result here. 
okay and you can see that luckily there is no warning and no error well 12 messages are there okay